It's Platt, and today we try Celebrity Beer. That's next to Platt's Beer of the Week. So the uh, particular beer, beer we have today is Triejos Cerveza. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, brought to you by the fine folks from Lincoln Brewing Company and the actor Danny Trejo. A uh, little background, Danny Trejo, for those of you who may or may not know, Danny's appeared in such movies as Desperado, Heat, and From Dust Till Dawn. Been kind of typecast throughout his career. Uh, if you need someone to play, you know, biker gang member, or the leader of a drug gang, or this, that, and the other, uh, a rough, gruff, old Latino gentleman, uh, has scars on his face, wears the Fu Manchu, uh, just tough old guy, you know, kind of look to him. Um, Danny is your guy. A little background to Danny. Danny was born in 1944 in L.A. Unfortunately, it was a product of a rough upbringing. His father abused him. Um, however, it was another member of the family that really did him dirty. Apparently, his uncle Gilbert introduced him to weed, heroin, and cocaine at several points between the ages of 8 to 12. 8 to 12. Uh, not something you generally want to share with the kiddos. This led to him uh, partaking in various crimes. He was arrested for the first time at age 10, did his first jail stint at age 12. This led to just kind of a revolving door in and out of jail. He spent most of the 60s in jail, including a stint in 1961 where he spent some jail time with Charles Manson. Uh, said they met, knew the guy, thought he was kind of weird. Uh, I'd say he easily nailed that in the head. Where Danny's turnaround came was in 1968 while he was in prison. Apparently there was a riot. He participated in the riot, injured a guard, was looking at some real serious jail time, solitary confinement. It was while he's in solitary confinement that he decided to get in a 12-step program and finally faced his addictions. He got clean. Uh, a few years later, got out of prison on good behavior. And really started turning his life around. He worked various jobs for a while, but ended up becoming a drug and addiction counselor. Um, this is where he kind of got introduced to Hollywood. Apparently one of his uh, patients was a young, good-looking guy who was doing some work as an extra in Hollywood, was telling Danny uh, that it was a nice little side income for not doing much. Danny was, well, I could always use a little extra money. Decided to start uh, doing some work as an extra after the first couple movies. Really kind of got hooked. Uh, finally decided to give himself a manager and a SAG card, and as they say, the rest is history. Uh, he has been working pretty consistently the last 30-plus years, uh, probably most known for his character, uh, Machete. Uh, Danny has turned this Hollywood success into several different businesses. He owns roughly about eight or so different restaurants, probably most known for uh, Treo's uh, Tacos. He has several of those. He has Treo's Cantina. He also has Treo's Coffee and Donuts, I guess the L.A. version <laughs> of uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, he has all, a wide range of merchandise, including ice cream bars. Again, not bad for someone who spent some jail time with Charles Manson. Uh, the other half of this collaboration is Lincoln, Lincoln Brewing Company. Lincoln Brewing Company is founded by a gentleman named Patrick Dunn out in Burbank, California. Patrick was introduced to craft beer uh, his college days, quickly fell in love, quickly decided to get into home brewing, and that was a hobby he had for a while. And he was doing, uh, learning home brewing while he worked in the film industry out in uh, Hollywood. Uh, apparently made some connections or whatever. But while he was working in Hollywood, just kept falling more and more in love with home brewing and decided it was time for him to do his own thing. And with help from friends and family, raised the money and was able to open a 15 barrel brew house in 2016. The next year in 2017, he opened the tap room uh, to the public. Now, again, Patrick uh, appears to have utilized some of his contacts in Hollywood, uh, besides doing the beer, beer for uh, Danny Trejo. He also produced a beer, Duff Crafted Lager. Uh, you Simpson fans out there know that Duff is the uh, the beer of Homer Simpson and all the characters, you know, at Moe's Bar. So to get that uh, licensing agreement, that was pretty big coup. So uh, kudos to Patrick. Real quick, let's talk about some of his other beers. Uh, first beer is, and I, I'm probably butchering this, 
is um, Mosaic, Mosaic, but it's not spelled like the hop. Uh, it is 5.6% ABV. It's a Pilsner. It recently won silver at the most recent World Beer Cup. And again, we've talked in the past how important those awards are, uh, especially to young breweries. Next is Hollywood Way, 6.5% ABV. It's an IPA. Classic West Coast beer. LA's all know, or, you know, Hollywood's West Coast uh, lifestyle just fits uh, perfectly. And lastly, uh, Cream Ale. They do a Cream Ale, 4.6% ABV. They market that as their lawnmower beer. If you're unfamiliar with the term lawnmower beer, generally just refers to straw colored to like light golden colored lagers. They're just easy drinkers. You would consider big beers like Bud Miller and Coors kind of in that vein, but you could throw in blonde ales, cream ales, generally anything 5% ABV and lower, just easy drinking beers. Lastly, they also, besides producing the cerveza for uh, Mr. Trejo, they also produce a hard seltzer for them. Uh, two flavors, mango and strawberry lemonade. Now, trust me, uh, the irony has not been lost on me that a drug and addiction counselor, former drug and addiction counselor, uh, has his own line of alcoholic beverages. But uh, as Yakov Smirnoff would say, what a country. Well, before we try this particular beer, though, let's check out the stats. So real quick today, uh, in researching for this video, I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to look up other celebrities beer, you know, other celebrities with their own beer. And when I use the term celebrity, I'm referring more to the Hollywood type um, athletes and bands. And we've talked about several beers, uh, there are collaborations with different bands, musical acts, uh, several athletes have their own beer. But as far as like actors, actresses, TV personalities, reality stars, not really a lot of them are into beer. And I don't know if that's a carb thing, if they're so vain. Um, I do notice a lot of actors like The Rock, wherever they have their tequilas now for a while, it was vodkas. I guess that's a nightclub thing, you know, in their mind. Well, the whole world just goes to high dollar nightclubs like guys, so that's all I know about alcohol. Uh, but anyway, I just found it interesting there really aren't that many celebrities. Uh, the only one other celebrity actor that I can think of is Will Wheaton that was in Star Trek The Next Generation. He was a hardcore home brewer for a while. You can actually find videos of him brewing online. Uh, I can't remember the brewery, but he did a collaboration, and he actually developed the recipe, not just showed up to the brewery one day to take photos. He really knew how to brew. However, apparently in the last few years, he has decided to go on the wagon and does not drink anymore, so <laughs> you can uh, throw that out. But just something interesting I, I kind of discovered or you know, I never really thought about. Well, enough about that. Let's drink some beer. All right, this is uh, lighter in color, uh, pours a decent head, even though it was semi aggressive. Um, Fairly clear. I, I think my glass might have been a little dirty too, but because uh, they're hard water. But let's give her a try. Pretty simple, kind of straightforward lager. You get the sweet punch of. I'm going to say there's probably some adjuncts in this. Right on the front of the tongue. Not a lot of hops. Lawnmower beer. <laughs> um, kind of, like I said, straightforward. There's not much complexity. This is a lighter body beer, even though it's not technically a light beer as far as calories. Body-wise, it's a little lighter. Uh, this is a pretty simple beer, but I think it still works in the context of, you know, kind of a lighter, easy drinking West Coast. This is something, you know, you're sitting out in a sunny LA day, warm LA day, probably goes down pretty easy. Um, also, it probably, because the it's a lighter beer, probably pairs with more foods. Remember, he's got restaurants, cantinas, this, that, and the other. Works, but uh, nothing I would necessarily go out of my 
Wait for, uh, maybe we have to keep an eye out for the uh, hard seltzers. Maybe. <laughs> maybe they might do a little bit with that, but okay is all I'm giving it. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or beers that you'd like me to try, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.